Carl Esco. Uh, the name of my company is Gunsmith Incorporated, and we rent machine guns. And this is the corner piece of what we do. It's a M45C uh, quad 50 mount and a M51 gun carriage. Both the gun carriage and the mount were built in 1944. It was designed to shoot down ground attack aircraft. It fought in both theaters, in the Pacific and the um, European theater, and it was highly effective against ground attack aircraft. They sent them out in uh, these M7 trailers, and they sent them out in half tracks in groups of three. The firing doctrine called for five minutes on, engaging, and five minutes off to recharge the battery. Um, it's the same system as used in a B-17 bomber in their turrets, the Maxon principle. Uh, this is just on steroids. It shoots four 50 caliber machine guns. Um, each gun is capable of holding 200 rounds in these cans or the trays 100 rounds apiece. Uh, they were used uh, up to and including the Vietnam War for uh, perimeter defense. Uh, they were used in Korea to guard airfields also to engage uh, massed Chinese troops, which we were extremely effective against. So the optimum range you would be shooting at would be 1,500 to 3,000 yards. It's a point uh, sight, so you have to see your target. Uh, it's got some lead elements built into the sight, but if you can't see the target, you can't shoot it. Uh, it carried a crew of three, a cannoneer on each side to clear jams and load and the gunner, which sits down inside the armored turret. Uh, it has a generator on the back to recharge the battery. The only thing that's not absolutely an uh, issue with this thing, the uh, batteries that were in there were only 120 amps, and uh, we pulled that out because we go places where there's no electricity and we don't like to run that generator. It's noisy and it smells. So we put a D9 battery in there, which gives us two to three days of shooting and moving without worrying about losing the battery. It's the, to my knowledge, the only active unit that's on the road actually shooting uh, in the United States. It's total electric. There is no hydraulic system in it. It's all electric and servos. It moves electrically and it fires electrically. Uh, it has a huge machinery space uh, under the mount and on top of the trailer that you can't see. But if you take it off there and look down in there, it's probably got about 20 miles of wiring, uh, 25 to 35 servos, uh, two differentials, and it's got uh, two drive motors, one for elevation and one for training. The guns we built ourselves are what they call post samples. They can't be sold. So the guns are probably worth about $6,000 a piece, and there's four of them. Uh, the trailer is probably worth about ten or twelve thousand dollars and the mount is probably worth about fifteen thou. Uh, each one of these tombstone cans that hold 200 rounds uh, are anywhere from five to seven hundred dollars. It's an expensive piece of gear going down the road. <laughs>